Hey, this is Lightman and Auburn. I'm going to make another trip to Toys R Us today. I have the good camera today, not just my phone, so hopefully they don't like kick me out or whatever. Going to pick up my friend. Um, I'm stuck behind a train right now, so I'm just like filming in the middle of the street. Um, we're going to see what's going on, uh, what's really going on with the liquidation sale. I want to see if it's actually a better deal on stuff like the video games. And maybe I can get some footage of uh, her looking at stuff. It's not just my stuff, what I'm looking for. I kind of want to buy that um, King Ezekiel 12-inch figure. Uh, what I mentioned in the other video, they do actually make a... Because I, when I bought the little tiger, I said uh, they don't make a King Ezekiel that size. I meant they don't make a King Ezekiel of the television show. They make one for the comic. Because I have the comic one. But, I mean, he's not, he's not the same guy. But, you know, it works. Waiting on the train. There it goes. So yeah, um, I got the I got a new laptop and everything, so the video editing software that I downloaded kind of sucks. I need to go back to some kind of um, Windows Movie Maker, Windows set for Windows 7 type thing, so I can actually splice the video because I have the other program you can't splice it. You can just add a bunch of videos together, which sucks. So I might just edit this on my old uh, Windows 7 laptop. That might actually work better. But um, stay tuned. I will be back with. Hopefully, uh, my friend and uh, going to the store. My friend, hello. Brittany waited 45 minutes uh, behind a train to get me because I am told I'm worth it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go on into Toys R Us. The liquidation sale started today. We're gonna see if there's anything good on sale. We're gonna look at the video games. We're gonna look at Star Wars stuff and anything else that catches our eye. This is the first day that the liquidation sale has started. Uh, the advantage to this is that, uh, you know, stuff obviously isn't going to be as cheap as it will be in like a week or two when they're more desperate to push all their inventory out, but there's going to be more in there. So if there's any really good deals on desirable items to be had, today's the day. Okay, we're in here. This is now hiring. Why are they hiring? And also, it says this. Like, actually, though, what... Yeah, but like, actually this. Well, I don't know. Let's go. For what purpose? Why are we hiring? All right, well. This is like the only Toys R Us. Unless we want to go. I didn't mention the uh, the outlet mall has a Toys R Us Express, which is a tiny store. Dude, I don't think I've been to a Toys R Us. It's very, very tiny. And they, they quit selling games. I need to get the peeps for some reason. So, we're gonna hit the games first because that's not what I did. Stuff's already being cleared out. Power Rangers. Still being cleared out anyway. I don't know if they're getting any more trucks. I mean, they're obviously not getting any more inventory. Yeah, but where's the inventory going to go? It's going to be like really limited. It'll be like Barbies and Lego and all the hot sellers. If they have any really cool, like, anatomical model kits, probably gonna buy one if it's cheap. And, like, I want, like, adult difficulty. These are still buy one, get one 40. Somebody actually stacked them up all nice. Nationwide, according to their Facebook page. Oh, these are cute. I love these. Look at him. He's so good. No, I love the sculpt and the paint job because you know I'm picky on all so that stuff. Like, what? So cool. Ooh, look, there's him. They didn't have him last time. That's uh, Dunkleosis is his name. He's a giant, uh, he's a giant, like, exoskeleton head mm -hmm. with, like, this bone stuff and he, like, takes bites out of giant sharks. He's Dude. way bigger than a great white. Dude, that is so cool. Dude, he looks very prehistoric and just like almost like futuristic. And his teeth, other pictures I've seen of him, doesn't look like his teeth would actually interlock or whatever that is. It's not teeth, it's Probably just has bone. his jaw just slightly ajar at all times. Dude, prehistoric fish I love that. are the coolest, How much is he? most terrifying things. Here's uh, Carnotaurus. He looks, he looks like a meat eater. He's, he <laughs> means uh, the bull with the horns. He's the main antagonist 
thing instead of just making everything T-Rex on uh, Disney's Dinosaur. The oh. CG, you know, with Aladar and Nira. Dude, I haven't seen that movie since it was in theaters. Uh, I did. I saw it in theater. Yeah. I was probably about 10. I, I don't even know how old I was. I must have been. But I like how... 10. I must have been like, what, 7 or 8? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that? You were born in 92, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I would have been 8. I saw it with uh, my grandma. It was the same year uh, Pokemon, the first movie, came out. But of course, my grandma didn't want to see Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I got all that baby toys, so I don't care about baby toys. Baby. I mean, didn't the front also say it's a baby's Uh, No, this one's not. It's a lot you more know, I was reading, stuff here. Uh, a big study on the. Uh, the, the Play-Doh, the, the markers, yeah. And one of the major things that the article mentioned is that a, a more popular place for consumers to buy toys generally is that they'll go to Walmart or Target to buy groceries or something and they'll let their kids get toys there anyway. So Target and Walmart have very much stolen that audience from Toys R Us because, you know, Toys R Us is a whole other trip you got to make. You know, you go to Walmart. You yeah, go to this Target. is only toys. Yeah. Uh, you can't come here and get your essentials and exactly, your groceries so, and your diapers and your shampoo. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, Target and Walmart, they've invested more over the years into their toy department. So, you know, the parents, you know, they're already there getting groceries, getting, you know, any other home items they may need. And they'll just get their kids their toys while they're there. And that has stolen a lot of Toys R Us's market, honestly, probably just as much as Amazon. That's what they said on Game Chasers, because when they, because they grew up in the 80s. Yeah. So, the 80s. Before, before Target that, I don't think there really was. They investing so heavily because they realized, yeah, oh, they had God, a little bit of we toys. can take that market from Toys R Us. It was like, you want toys, you go to Toys R Us, you go to KB Toys, and you go to the other one I never even heard of because I was not born. Yes. The only reason I know KB Toys from the Kenner Star Wars. Man, I got my toys from Blockbuster. Oh, I have some stuff. Mm -hmm. I have some stuff from there. Oh, you know who else is going under? Who? Claire's. Claire's. I didn't know that. Not because they're in here. I mean, the, the actual standalone <laughs> yeah. uh, stores. They just any particular reason or they this just, is so trashed compared to the last time I was here I mean people news is spread you know people want to oh my god get their fix you know Christmas came early I like these little uh oh that's cute they look like they're Sanrio they're probably they do look pretty Sanrio they're probably not I don't know I mean oh no it says right here Neon Star by Tokidoki I mean I don't know if maybe Sanrio owns them but These is the ones I don't like. God, their eyes just... I mean, the teeny tiny ones are kind of cool. The little bitty keychain ones, if they have them. Like that, that small, I guess. Staring into my soul. So I guess they didn't pull all the... See, this is supposed to be... I thought this was supposed to be like the Barbie dolls, but maybe I'm... I mean, the Barbie dolls are right here. Oh, they're over here. I guess they're not going to pull them yet. You know... So here's the teeny tiny ones. But you know what I love looking at? I love her reading, careers. <laughs> I love reading about stories of like just bizarre Barbie dolls that were made, uh, or like ones that received a lot of backlash. I know recently, you know, topic it's been going around a lot is Frida Kalho. Barbie not looking like Frida Kalho. But like, mm -hmm. There's a lot of really bizarre ones out there. Like, look up teen pregnancy, Stacy. It's or no, oh no, that up, one's worth a ton of money. They used to have it at Big Lots. Look up earring magic pen. It is a rabbit hole <laughs> that will keep you entertained forever. These are so cool. I bought her just because I like redheads. You know, that's why you keep me around. I've got the redhead and I've got the blue head. Not her. This one that has like dark blue hair that looks like me. And I was like, yeah, it looks like me. And then Kaya has the short like purple hair and she cut it to where it's like a diagonal oh, that's so, cool. <laughs> so it looks like her that's so cool. i guess that Dude. movie was a flop holiday barbie looks like shangela from rupaul's drag race yeah like look me in the eye and tell me that is not straight up that is <laughs> shangela she is about to come out of this box and scream hallelujah <laughs> that is shangela you get to see all the movies of the times, you know. 
You got the Beauty and the Beast. Oh man, this is like a time capsule. We're gonna watch this in like that's in what like I'm talking three, about. Five years, and we're gonna be like, <gasps> we got everything's live action, Moana. Beauty and the Beast, Moana. Those were popular. That's why, man, looking at that Game Chasers video, seeing that wall of Star Wars, I was like, man, frozen, everything's gonna be frozen. I know, he looks bad. I was like, oh boy, a beast uh, doll, and it's like, it sucks. He looks cheap. <clears throat> we know frozen, blah, blah, blah. We know this. I like the little flying cat buddies from this show, but I have no clue. This. Because cool. they look like Lion King. I actually bought one, and I was like, alright. <laughs> so yeah, time capsule of stuff. I mean, Disney Princess, that's never going to go we're gonna out of style. We're going to this video one day, and we're going to be like, oh my god. Shopkins, the new thing, yay. What are Shopkins? <laughs> this, those little, little cute foods with eyes. I don't know. I don't like them. Do any of the kids like them? Yeah, they like them. You know what I like? Those are adorable. I like that if they have that Cheshire Cat one, I like them. Do they have a Cheshire Cat? I see. And they have a Jawa for some reason. Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille. Oh my god. Is that, um, what's his name from the Avengers? Uh, Alan from Winnie the Pooh? I don't know, I could be wrong. No, it's that, that black guy from the Avengers. <laughs> Is it? No, no, they're from Avengers in here too. Oh, do they? I'm so behind on my... Well, I only know because well, I stalk yeah, them at work. He's Black Widow, so... Falcon's his name. Falcon, okay. I, I'm so behind on <laughs> Marvel movies, I'm sorry. I got Peter Pan. I love this movie. Look at him, he's a chicken nugget. <laughs> They're all chicken nuggets. Look at peanut butter, he's a chicken nugget. There's the, there's the Cheshire cat right there. Freaking Peter Pan brand. Chicken This is 25% off all the Samsung characters. How much are they normally? Too high. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Too high. Fair. Yeah. Reasonable assessment. It's Powerpuff Girls. But is it? This is the uh, lead up to the games that I uh, edited all this out and no one cares. Hold up. What kind of posters? <laughs> Let's go through them for the times. We're already off to a bad start. Okay, we got okay. My Old Pony movie, we got the Pokemons, we got okay, we're going back Five Nights at Butt Cheeks. Okay. <laughs> Those girls, I don't know what that is. It's a Disney show. I okay, so like, I love Pugs, and I think Doug the Pugs Doug is the a Pug. Pug. Yeah, he's a, he's a social media phenomenon, but I didn't know he had posters. Harley Quinn, I mean, I can't honestly say I didn't anticipate that. I don't... Jake Santora. What is that? He's like some freaking YouTube kid, I don't... There's that one girl that the kids hate. I don't know who that is. Who is she? Some Disney TV show. When in doubt, that seems to be the answer here. Okay, Pokemon. Look at, okay, which Pokemon is it? Is it the original 150? It is the original 150. Okay, I was waiting for it to be like the Might be 151, but we just won't know, will we? <laughs> we just won't know. We just won't oh, know. You know, I have to find out. That's, that's a surprise. Oh, I like that. I love this. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Stupid that girl again. Stupid Five Nights. <gasps> yes, the bounty hunters. There's Boss. There's my favorite. How much are the posters? I already have wall space. I have a poster one. Uh, this one is D7. Alright, remember that. Overwatch. Good Atama. I love Good Atama. He's so weird. Which Pokemon is this? See, I don't even know. It's all the Ultra ones. Oh, Good Atama, isn't it? Oh, you're fine. No, that. Them. Yeah. Like this. Oh, these are a bunch of the what Mega is? Evolutions. Well, look at that Gyarados. My favorite is Mega Ampharos. Yeah, it's cool. just Ampharos with really good power metal hair. That's it's, it. That's it. What is this? That is Mega Obama Snow. Really? That's, that's really? Mega. More, more Espins? He, he, he really Alakazam. likes Alakazam. He really likes it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that was the times. All right. I don't like most of those. I. I do not. <laughs> Alright, okay, how wiped out are the games? Well, they've been cleared out and they are not even on sale yet. See, they Apparently, GameStop, they've been getting a lot of fake Shantae. Really? Because uh, I don't know which console that was originally on, but it's one that they're. Well, they're originally, on. originally, originally, it was on the Game Boy Color. Uh, and then it was revived years later on the PC and then it got ported to a lot of different systems. Because they recently received, of course, Pokemon games are bootleg. They showed me one of them to not receive it, and it's a cartridge. It is, instead of saying Game Boy, you know, the little indention on Game Boy Color cartridge, it just says Game. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's fake. Uh, so, of course, somebody accepted it. Robo. I don't see why they still have so many copies of Yoshi's Woolly World. That's a great game. I want the one that has the little Poochie amiibo in it. None of them have the Poochie amiibo in it. You gotta buy him separately. But that said, I did do that, and I'll vouch, it was a great purchase. That's how expensive that is. You know how much, I just bought one of these. You know how expensive it was at Target? How expensive was it at Target? Ten. Look, AC adapter. AC adapter, that's where it goes. What else we got? We got, oh, 
If you ever wanted to be a bachelor no. or a resort owner, <laughs> you want to own a resort? Look at her, she's Man, so happy. This, the DS it's a is super just like, high. No. Look at this. This. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, look, it's got Bowser on one side. You know, honestly, though, I want one of these charge blocks. Like, I actually. I actually do. I'm not even going to lie. Oh! Let me go. We only have one over here and it's a. They got Tiguni. They got this. Oh, yeah. They don't really have any of those at GameStop for some reason. We don't know. We were supposed to start today and then they postponed it. Do you know how many other stores in the Oklahoma City area postponed it? Uh, Crossroads and Mormon have been liquidating for three months. Three they're, months? They're closing in April, like April 14th. So what about the outlet mall? The one, the, the little small one? We, it's the same news we have. We don't know when it's going to start. Because they were supposed to start today along with babies. And then the, the liquidator told us to not because we have a potential buyer, so I don't know. Wow. That makes sense. Ooh, potential buyer. But, like, even, like, and then later on, if we do start liquidation, I mean, it could be a thing. We, we don't know. Yeah. They're not so fast anymore than what you'll see on the news. That's how we found out about it. But, um, once they start that, if the buyer goes through, then they'll just stop the liquidation and then start having more trucks come in and keep them. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. We have a potential buyer in that. We had one before and then they backed out. Turn like the light, Molly. Sorry. No, that's all good. What else we got? 300. 300. Uh, what do they got on the Switch? This guy, uh. Good. I've never I, seen that Cartoon Network game. Which Cartoon Network game? That with Steven Universe in the front. I can't see. I'm blind. Right there. What's it next to? Oh, uh, Battle Crash. I've never heard of that either. Never heard of that. Bayonetta. I'd like to get that on the that Switch. Bayonetta when I doesn't have, the, have the other one with it. It has the second one. That's, that's good enough. No, it has both of them. Does it? It has. Well, the, the one for Bayonetta okay. one is a download. Oh, it's a download. But the cartridge has two. That said, even if it were just two, two is good enough that I'd, I'd still buy it. I heard this is horrible and not even a full game. Amiibo Festival, I haven't played it. I haven't looked at it Because it's, it's not a full game. That's like, like it's not a full game. You, sh you, can't, you can't play it. That's, yeah. Okay, what's going on with these guys? Look at this. Get the camera over here. They still have copies of Super Smash Bros. Brawl that I can only assume are new. Look at that. In the bottom corner. Oh my god. They still got a copy of this. Finally got a good enough controller for the Wii. I can play it now. I never played it actually. Really? I, if you can, get a. I want this display. Get an card and put a Project M on it. It's a mod for Brawl that lets it play like Melee and also just has better skins. I, it's my favorite Smash game. I love it. Why does it not play like Melee? What's the difference? What? I didn't play Melee. Okay. I had it, I sold it. Oh, well, it's faster. Much faster and just. Much more satisfying. I'm gonna say it concisely. They're Much still doing Skylanders. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Look, it's the Sega Master System. No one knows what that is. That's why it's the butt of every joke. What do we got? I think it was too expensive when it came out. My old roommates loved this game. I never got to play it. I kept meaning to. I kept telling them I would. I've been playing the heck out of this. Still, I, I still haven't beat it. Metal Gear Rising. It's not a stealth game. It is not a stealth game. <laughs> oh, I didn't see Sonic Socks. Let's get 2014 FIFA World Cup was. Not for use in our zone. What does that mean? Too spicy. What do we got? So this is kind of janky. Let's go to PS4. Oh, it's just all Dragon Quest. Controllers are still 60. That's the one I want. That's I want the, one the I camouflage have. one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Guess what I got the other day? What'd you get the other the day? The Star Wars controller. Nice. The Darth Vader one. It's supposed to go to the console. Guilty Gear, Exert, Revelator 2, stellar, stellar game. Love it. I would buy it if I had more money on me. Monster Hunter World, also stellar. 
I still haven't played it. Eric bought it. So got plenty of copies of Battlefront 2, I see. Yeah. Still got some PS3s up here for some unknown reason. There's the PlayStation camera. Everyone needs that. Oh well, yeah, to play that thing. Oh look, they do sell those World of Nintendo. I like these. It's usually like not anything ain't good though. Tell me this isn't. Tell me these aren't the cutest amiibos. Tell me these aren't the cutest amiibos you ever did see. Oh no, I have the green. How much they want for them? Uh, standard market price, sixteen. <clears throat> yeah, I want all the colors of them. There's the little uh, Splatoon girls. Hmm? I got that Splatoon 2 at Pawn Shop for 30 bucks on the Switch. But I do not have a Switch, but you know. It's a great game. It's a really good game. All this random junk. Is this? Is that paint? It says it's. Splatter shop, but like, what? What is it like actually? It probably goes to a gun or something. Probably like, I don't know what it is technically called, but like, you know those little goo jars, you know, you used to be able to buy. Yeah. Like just a straight up jar of goo that you just kind of squish. Probably look how that. bad these aisles look. It's just like horrible. I mean, to be fair, if you worked here, like first of all, and there's a splat ball team. I mean, like first of all, I'm sure this is the most customers they've had and. Why? I mean, they were slammed last time. Huh? Oh my god. Yes. But also, I oh love the piranha plant. But also, like, you know, people are coming in, you know, practically tearing things off the shelves, thinking, you know, oh. The end thinking is you're not. really getting something. Yeah. The end is not. If I, were, if I were working here, you know, probably for minimum wage at that, like, I can't say, I'd feel super encouraged to keep everything super neat and tidy all the time. They got American Girl sections in here now? Yeah, that's like dude, the only place to get them. Dude, dude, I wanted one of these so bad when I was a kid. Like, I was never really big on toys growing up. I wanted an American Girl doll. They have the coolest accessories, so though. Like, they do. Like, way do. better than Barbie. Yeah. Like, you can't I had a violin with, with mine. So, Mine is actually custom to look like me with green eyes and brown hair. And you know, you want to know the biggest irony? I never really played with it though. I didn't like dolls. It's still like super pristine. <laughs> so like, I finally did get an American Girl doll. Like right when I was getting to that age where I was kind of phasing out of playing with toys. Yeah, I was like, it was like 12 it was this really, I got mine. Yeah, it was like this really bittersweet moment. Where it's like, you know, part of me was like, oh, I finally got an American Girl doll. But you know, the other half of me was like, that was me. Like, my grandma wanted to make clothes for it, and she did anyway, and I was just like, I'm not really gonna play with this. Like, literally, I just, like, would set it up and then, like, make it look nice, and, like, next week, change the clothes and set it up. So, and I also had Magic Attic Doll, which is a hard body one. She's Native American. I actually like her better. She's skinnier, and she doesn't fit their clothes, because their clothes are for the fat dolls. <laughs> I, uh, when I got my doll, uh, we were living in an apartment complex, and this really nice Italian lady who lived down the hall from us, uh, she was a seamstress, so she she actually made clothes. I got one and my sister got one. <laughs> uh, Katie got Kirsten, and I got Addie, so she'd make clothes to I like Addie's time. story. I did read the story on her. I read all the books. It like, was sad. I cried every time. I Okay, so like here, here's how badly I wanted an American Girl doll, and here's how nerdy I was growing up. But the tip of the iceberg, I had read almost all the books. <laughs> <laughs> Way before I actually had one of the dolls. In fact, that was part of the reason why I wanted one. I mean, you could like the books, and I didn't like the dolls. Would you like to know a fun fact? Fun fact. So, I, I went through like phases, like after I read all the books, where I'd want like that doll for a while. Uh, so like, when I was reading the Kirsten stories, I'd be like, Oh, Kirsten's the best. I'd be reading the Samantha stories. Just kidding, she's the best. I actually know who you're talking about in some of them. I could, I could still probably name all of them. There was Felicity. She was the colonial girl, and yeah. I liked her. I thought I thought she had the best books because I really like. I might I mean, have I'm, read hers. Huh? I might have read hers. I, think I, still I have had hers. a small library of little ones that I got from um, my step grandma in Amarillo, Texas. So, uh, so yeah, Felicity was the colonial girl. I thought she was cool because she had the best books, and also because I had never seen a ginger doll like anywhere. 
I had one Elizabeth. ginger Barbie with the freckles. I never seen I don't remember her freaking name, and I lost it, and I wanted to rebuy it on eBay, and I don't remember her name, and you know, I can't find it anywhere. Additional fun fact, part of the reason I got Addy, uh, and any other... I wasn't big on... Addy's like African-American slave girl, right? Yes. All the all the dolls. I didn't have many dolls growing up. I was never big on dolls, but the few dolls I did have, I'd always go for the black girls because I all my friends uh, back then they were all black. So it's like me. I wanted the diversity. I thought I thought of I was dolls. The, I thought I was the minority, and I thought that the black dolls were prettier, and they all. Oh, they have that that hair. new line of uh, Barbie dolls that with the real the, the skinny and the tall and the and the curvy and all that actually has real hair like afro hair That's like so never seen that and i was also even like a white girl doesn't even have any hair for the new trend of not having hair not that not cancer patient just don't want to have hair <laughs> but anyway anyway um <clears throat> as i was saying there was felicity who's the colonial girl uh there was kirsten who's the pioneer girl addy uh was uh, a slave or a runaway slave rather um samantha was like Victorian, but not Victorian because it was set in America and not she England. She had real but nice clothes, that so red, that red, English. like, pea coat. Um, there was Molly, who was growing up in World War II. There was Kaya, the Native American, who came out, like, right when I was starting to get out of it. Uh, oh, and I don't Kit. Know of and them. Kit. She, she was also new when I was starting to get out of it. She, uh, she was in, like, the the 50s or like the early 60s or something like that. I remember the the dining room or the had like 1950s uh you know gonna go get shakes gonna go to the burger joint gonna go to pops and scooby-doo type chair and table and it was like I had the magazines yeah. I looked at magazines all the time the magazines were the best we had a subscription to them and I would just look through them and I'd be like yep I want that one and that one and that one I never got anything out of the magazine all, all I got let's, let's go look at them yeah all I got was like I think two outfits out of the magazine and the rest of them were made by our aforementioned that's that <clears throat> so there's a redhead right there yeah see here's the like the custom but not i mean mine was like order online custom they were called my twins because they were meant to like look like you yeah but mine just had like the standard issue but, like, clothes why would you want modern clothes if you could get one in like colonial clothes you know like, I, I'm kind of a nerd. I think history is really This cool. one's hair right here. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I love how they do have different eye oh, shape. Look, that's the little Asian one. They're so beautiful. I, I love... I those, love we have those My Generation dolls. Cyber Sleuth. What is that? It is a Digimon game. Uh, more importantly, it's a turn-based JRPG. And uh, that's what I'm all about. Turn-based turn -based JRPG, I'm like, peace out. Turn-based JRPG, they, so few of them are made these days that when one comes out, you know, you gotta, you gotta hug it. I guess you can't take this to a certain zone of the store. I, I don't know what that. I don't know what the argument is. Metal fix. That's got some heft to it. If there's a Choco Cat, there's not. It's I collect the Choco Cats. I wonder how my childhood would have been different if there were an American Girl section. Like, in any store that was nearby. I, was still, I, I don't know if this got caught on camera, but I was still in Brittany earlier, you know. Like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't very into dolls growing up, so most of the toys I had like got from Blockbuster because I wanted I like, had some Pokemon stuff. toys and Sailor Moon toys and stuff like that. I want to see this and movie. Having to have all that, but if there were an American Girl section anywhere, that might have changed. My childhood might have been very different. This green cat demon buddy. I still haven't seen this movie. I want to see it. Look, you make a little sugar skull. That'd be cool. But yeah, oh yeah, Wonder Woman and all that back here. Mm -hmm. All that Wonder Woman. Look at this change your mind bin. Back there. You just don't want it. You just throw it in there as go backs. That would be horrible if that was my job. Because the little kids carry him around.
so other people could still shop it while it's still being the go back spin. I love plastic food. That's my favorite. I had, I had live. Get up here, Mama. Come here. Roller skates. That's legitimately. Oh. Look. Is that the. The faces on her are so weird. Yeah, Harvey just... And then we can dress Anytime. her like Hermione. Yay! Yeah. I feel like every time Mattel, like, using Barbie, tries to, you know, make Barbie dolls for, like, real-life actresses, kind of like... Yeah, I found a uh, Wicked Witch of the West can, doll at the thrift store the other day. They can never get the face right. Have you ever seen one of these? With an accurate face. Have you ever looked at one of these and said, huh, yeah, that's I, the, exactly the most accurate face I've seen exactly like in the affordable $20 price range is the Star Wars Black Series and not all of them. Only specific characters that are actual and real human beings' face, not the aliens. <laughs> so that was it. That was the uh, non liquidation sale because you heard what the lady said. So, I don't know. There's a Monopoly with the Mario characters. You know, there's a Monopoly for like everything. And then, like, here's this expansion DLC packs this is of, real like, additional DLC. cards, and, like, like there's, there's, the, there's the flame Mario. Look at that. He's not even in the main game. There's the so Luigi. So yeah, the main game's Mario, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong. There's Diddy Kong. Oh, oh, here's Toad. Yeah, who all's not in the game? Does it say on the back? Uh... Yes, it does. Wario, Rosalina, Diddy Kong, Fire Mario, Tanuki Mario. Oh my god, Tanuki Toad Mario. See, I would, just, I would just buy that Wait, for like Rosalina? the little figure. They're four ninety nine. dollars 99 Where's Rosalina? Oh, duh, it says on the outside of the box. Oh, here's Boo. Here's Boo. Yeah. So you can steal your stars, I mean space. He doesn't really want to turn around, but he's uh... Yeah, I can't really get to him. Um, I need to play uh, Mario Galaxy. Mario. I do own it. Lots of fire marks. I got like the case and the disc two different places because I want to know who Rosalina is. I know she's like a butthead and no she's, one likes her. She's beautiful. But whatever. She's beautiful and I love her. I was hoping Daisy would be in the game. I like Daisy. She's also very pretty. See, look, there's a Monopoly Zelda too. Monopoly everything. I like how the pieces, the are, pieces are just the weapons. That's actually, that's actually really clever. Like said that uh, this potential buyer for this location, maybe it could be like a private owned store. Could, like like uh, could how everything else would like go to business, business. But this. Like it could be like a brand, it could be like Walmart for all we know. Yeah, she didn't say who it was. I thought there's uh, maybe it's KB Toys, but I doubt it. It's probably just some individual with a lot of money that wants to preserve the, the brand. I mean, there's buy a, the license. There is a rumor floating around online that KB Toys is trying to buy out certain locations. Uh, but that said, for all we know, the potential buyer might not be particularly interested in focusing on toy sales. The reason that the liquidation sale isn't at this particular location is because there's a potential buyer, and the fact that none of this is on liquidation means that the buyer is at least somewhat interested in keeping all this merchandise in the store. So at the very least, there's a reasonable chance that toys will be somewhere, wherever it may be. Yeah, well, she said there was a buyer before, but they, yeah, they had they a falling out, out, and then now there's going to be, hopefully, another one. But only this location, so not the other few that are in the other cities. There's only, like, maybe four or five of these stores in this whole state. Yeah, there's... Even before all this stuff started happening to Toys R Us. They were never a thing over here. Yeah, this is Oklahoma City. There's like two. I think there's one in like Tulsa. This is legit the I don't, only There one might I be one in Norman, but I doubt it. I think literally it's Tulsa and Oklahoma City. That's it. I doubt it's in Norman because Norman is such a college town and that is so outside of their demographic. Yeah. It's so outside of their demographic. Here is, there's a lot of shops and stuff here, so I mean... I mean, yeah, like yeah. we got Quail this, Springs Mall. We're in right the middle of the, the mall. We're in the middle of the where everybody lives, so That's it said, would be good to buy this. That said, Super Target is on the other side of the street, and like I was saying earlier, a big reason that they've lost their business is because of stores like Super Target. Yeah, even Best Buy yeah, across the street Best has toys and electronics and video games. Yeah, this, and that most people just want to play uh, on their phone and 
they want to play uh, the PS4, the Xbox, the Switch, and all that. This is just a really unfortunately placed store. Because, like, everything they sell here is also at, like, the various other stores that are, like, right across the street. It's, it's yeah, really and it's more expensive here. As I mentioned in the other video, really it is more expensive. Yeah. Like, I mean, they gotta, this they gotta everything is. Because, I mean, they gotta get every penny they can out of all this. Advertising like classes it. was, uh, was a marketing campaign for Lego. I like that one. That was really fun. Got to do surveys. I just got to like go to random people and be like, hey, uh, I need to know everything you know about Lego. Okay, I'm back at home. I ran out, actually ran out of battery, so I had to cut that short. We didn't end up buying anything at Toys R Us because basically nothing was liquidated and you saw how destroyed the store was. So went to go see my boyfriend at work because uh, he's ended up closing the store by himself. He works at GameStop. Okay, mini rant on GameStop. I don't really like that company, but that's another company I know is probably going to go bankrupt here in a few years. And the only reason I support them right now is because my boyfriend works there and I will only buy stuff from that store. Other than that, I don't really like GameStop. Because they put my uh, two of my favorite uh, stores under, which is, uh, or helped put them under, which is Blockbuster and um, Game Exchange. But I had to do it. Had to do it. I got the Elite Pro membership. Yay! That's uh, $30 a month. So all the games that you buy, whenever it says, whenever it says pre-owned, you can do the Elite Pro membership and save save money. And there's a there's like a, this fancy app on your phone that you can get now, which uh, cat categorizes all the like coupons and everything that you could possibly need in this little like menu thing. And you could do like the, the pre-orders. It tells you like what you pre-ordered, which is cool. So you can like, I guess it will text you when it's ready. We're gonna find out. So I went in there and order and pre-ordered uh, Sonic Mania for the Switch. I actually don't have a Switch yet, but I'm gonna do like I did with the PS1 and the PS2. I'm gonna buy the games before I have the console because I already know there's at least a couple of games I want. I already own um, Splatoon 2. I found it at a pawn shop for. 30 bucks, the cartridge with the case and the, the artwork in the case and everything. There's no manual, but there's probably not a manual anyway. But it's cool, it's got an alternate like cover on the inside. But yeah, game uh, GameStop, a lot of the more um, common games, I'm just going to get them probably at pawn shops or whatever, someplace cheaper. So, got the Game Informer. Yay! Got to subscribe to that, so now we're going to have two Game Informer magazines of the exact same thing coming to the same house. Because I don't want to do it digital, because screw digital, I want the physical magazine. So, I got this game, Ukulele. This is the um, spiritual predecessor to Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, even though it's not ba made by Rare. Because Rare no longer makes games. It says, uh, Platonic Games, Team 17. I'm pretty sure it's an indie game. And watch out, kids. It's E10. E10. But yeah, this ended up being a uh, haul video at the end because of being mad at uh, uh, not finding anything there and nothing being cheaper. Like, if they would have had this game, it probably would have been like 30 bucks at um, Toys R Us. Really, Toys R Us game selection sucked. Since I can remember, it has, al it has always sucked. I mean, I want to see, like, old Toys R Us. But they had a uh, GameStop had 20% off Pokemon toys, so I got this a low in Meowth. Yes, I'm gonna open it because I'm playing um, Pokemon Ultra Sun. So that's super cool. I've never had a Meowth figure, and that's like my favorite. I just never had any like the cat figures. I want to have the Meowth, I want to have Sogaleo, I want to have Purloin, I want to have Skitty, I want to have Delcaddy, Persian, I want to have all the cats. But, um, I don't know, we're going to see if what the lady was saying, if somebody actually does buy the Toys R Us, then it's going to stay there. I don't know if it's going to change what it's going to look like or what it's actually going to do with the inventory. I don't know if that would continue the trucks, because, like, like, if I'm the millionaire that's going to go in there and buy the Toys R Us, I'm buying the brand. 
So if I buy the brand, I would assume the trucks would still keep coming in. But, I don't know. We will see. Um, let me know your opinions on that. Because let me know... I want to know if anybody else's Toys R Us are getting bought out by individual sellers in any other states. So if there is, if all of them go bankrupt, there will be a few left under a private owned uh, owner. So let me know. And uh, peace out.